Venus is the second planet from the Sun in our solar system, and is also referred to as Earth's sister planet. Many people wonder, if a planet is called Earth's sister planet, then it might have some similarities, right? Then why don't space companies try to colonize Venus? Why does every space company, be it NASA or SpaceX, want to reach Mars? In this video, we will see why humans don't colonize Venus before Mars. Many believe Venus is uninhabitable due to its hellish conditions. But let me tell you folks, appearances can be deceiving. Venus is actually closer to Earth in terms of size and composition. It's also blessed with an atmosphere predominantly made up of carbon dioxide. So, why not give it a shot? Picture this, floating cities, cloud-bound habitats, and flourishing green landscapes. It's not science fiction, it's the potential reality of Venus colonization. With advancements in technology and a little bit of imagination, we can create a thriving civilization on this seemingly inhospitable planet. Venus has a number of advantages over Mars. Firstly, it's closer to Earth, making it easier and more cost-effective to transport supplies and support missions. Secondly, its gravity is remarkably similar to Earth's, providing a familiar environment for human beings. Imagine having the ability to explore the unknown within our own cosmic neighborhood. Venus offers new scientific, technological, and biological frontiers just waiting to be discovered. The potential for groundbreaking breakthroughs in medicine, energy, and environmental studies is limitless. Even after all these benefits, why are humans not thinking about trying to do Venus missions? Well, Venus colonization isn't without its challenges. The extreme temperatures and the acidic atmosphere would require innovative engineering solutions. According to research, the surface of Venus is a true inferno, with an average temperature of about 864 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 462 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. The main culprit behind this blistering heat is Venus's thick atmosphere, which is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, making up about 96.5% of the atmosphere. This dense carbon dioxide blanket creates a severe greenhouse effect, trapping heat from the sun and preventing it from escaping back into space. So, at the end of the day, all the greenhouse gases and the heat remains on the planet making it inhabitable. Moving on, let's talk about the surface on Venus. Well, Venus has a rocky terrain scattered with countless volcanoes. Not just your average volcanoes, we're talking massive, powerful, and constantly active ones. Besides this, this boiling planet experiences sulfuric acid rain that can burn through pretty much anything it touches. Sounds scary, doesn't it? Now, let's see some reasons for which Mars is getting our attention. Firstly, Mars boasts a relatively mild climate compared to the harsh conditions on Venus. Its average temperature is around minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, while Venus suffers from a scorching average temperature of about 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So heat-wise, Mars is certainly a more hospitable option. Another major factor is water. Mars presents intriguing evidence of the existence of water, albeit in frozen form. This discovery has sparked immense excitement among scientists as water is a crucial element for supporting and potentially sustaining life as we know it. Water is not only essential for human habitation, but also serves as a potential resource for future astronauts. It could be harvested and purified, providing life-sustaining resources, fuel for spacecraft, and even oxygen for future colonies. So, Mars presents unparalleled opportunities. So, while Venus, our cosmic twin, presents its own unique allure, the harsh conditions and lack of resources have made Mars a more feasible option for exploration. However, let's not forget the incredible advancements we've made in understanding our solar system as a whole. Who knows, maybe one day, both Mars and Venus will become hotspots for human exploration. Until then, let's continue to fuel our curiosity and venture forth into the unknown depths of space. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel with bell notifications so you can see our next videos. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.